two um, is this modulus inequalities question. Um, and I always like to solve this type of question on a graph. Um, so I'm just going to put some numbers on the graph. Okay, and I need to draw the two lines, the modulus of 2x minus 3 and the modulus of x plus 1. I'll do them in different colours. Um, so the 2x minus 3 is going to have a gradient of 2 and is going to uh, cross, well, if it was if it was um, without the modulus, it would cross the y-axis at minus 3. So that means it would it's going to cross the x-axis at 3 over 2, or 1.5. And, and it's going to have a gradient of 2, so it's going to look like this. The x plus 1 line is going to cross the um, x-axis at minus 1 and have a gradient of 1. So that's going to look like this. It's going to go off there. So we can now see the two points of intersection. This point here And this point here and the question so if we just write down what the name of each of these lines are so this red line here was um, normal 2x take 3 and this red line here was the negative version because it had flipped over when it went negative so negative 2x plus 3 and this green line here was the normal x plus 1 and this was the negative negative x take 1 so we're eventually trying to solve when is 2x minus 3, which is the red line, smaller than, so below, underneath, the uh, green line, x plus 1. And it's underneath, inside this section here. So if we can find out what these two points are, well, one's looking like it's 4, but I'll solve that correct. I'll solve that properly in a second. Then we can say that the, the red line is below the green line between these two points. So let's find out what these two points are. The first point comes from when 2x minus 3 intersects with x plus 1. So if I rearrange that, I can take an x away, add a 3 on, that, and that does give me x, my x equals 4 like I expected. The other point comes from when this red line, so that's minus 2x plus 3, still meets the positive x plus 1 line. So positive x plus 1 line intersecting the minus 2x plus 3 line. We're looking for a number between 0 and 1. It looks like it's a bit more than a half. So if I add the 2x on this time and take this one away, that's going to give me 3x equals 2. So x is 2 thirds, which sounds about right to me. So this is obviously 2 thirds here and we've got our 4 here from before. So, in order to actually answer the question, the final answer is going to be that 2x, the mod of 2x minus 3 is less than the mod of x plus 1 when x is more than 2 thirds, but less than 4. Less than 4, but more than 2 thirds.